Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a pattern programs. So for the following patterns. So first pattern. So this is a pattern we need to print. So in order to print this pattern, so how to write the logic? So first of all, coming to the pattern programs, the data, whatever the data we are representing, either it's star or alphabets or numbers, anything. So that is represented in terms of rows and columns. So the outer loop, so we have to write the two different loops. Okay, two loops. So two loops should be written. The outer loop, the outer loop represents the rows. The outer loop represents the rows and inner loop inner loop represents the columns and also in the inner loop we have to write the print statement that means output statement okay so first we'll write the outer loop first we have we'll write the outer loop that means how many lines are there five lines we need to print five lines so in python for i in range of let us take uh, 6 okay or uh, simply we can say we can take uh, um, 5 okay 5 so if you take this 5 this implies the values of i will be from 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay total five five rows five rows and for every row for every row we need to print the value okay we need to print the value so inner loop this is a column okay inner loop this is a column for j in range see if you give here how many numbers we have to go so it is a first if it is one, zero row if it is zero row, one star should be printed. So I have to add plus one. And in the first row, so let us take this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. So in the zero row, one star, one. So one time this print statement should be repeated. So what I have to do? I value is zero, so I can simply write i plus one. Simply I can write i plus 1 column and here we need to print star star symbol. Okay. So we have we know that every printf or every print statement in Python will print the data in new line. But here what should be done? So the line the, the star should be printed in a same line in a same line. So in order to print the star in a same line. So what we have to do, we have to use an end operator, I mean end parameter. So end is equal to this one. So you can see if it is 0, if it is 0, i plus 1. So this will iterate from, j value iterates from 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So whenever i becomes 0, j value becomes 1. Okay, range 1. Range 1 means it will iterate one time. Okay, and if it is 1, if it is 1, range of 2, range of 2 means 0 and 1, 2 times. It will print 2 times. So you can observe here, star is printed 2 times. And if whenever i becomes 2, range of 3 here 3 becomes 3 means 0 1 2 that means 3 iterations 3 times the print statement will be executed and star will be printed 3 times you can see 3 times it should be printed right and you you can observe here after every iteration so after completion of this inner loop okay after completion of the inner loops the next iteration should start with the next line 
otherwise the same thing will be printed in a single line so after every iteration after every row after completion of every row the new pattern should be printed in a new line so for that purpose after completion of the uh, inner loop we need to use some empty print so that whatever the statement we are getting so for you can observe here if it i is equal to 0 range of 1 range of 1 means one time it will be printed star will be printed after star we are just using the print that means automatically it will comes under second line right next i becomes 1 i becomes 1 means now it will be 2 it will be 2 means 2 times it will be repeated 0 and 1 so 0 1 1 star and star here star will be printed here star will be printed because we are using some end operator and again print again it will move with the third statement third line and again fourth line again it will be printing on fifth line that means i is equal to four whenever i becomes five automatically this will the loop will be ended so we will get the pattern in this way right so this is the a simple logic for printing the pattern so if you want to take the value from the keyboard so just use the input function so n is equal to int of input so that if you take some 10 and pass n here if you take some 10 so 10 lines 10 lines the pattern will be printed okay 10 lines the pattern will be printed so i will show you the code by executing on the interpreter right next the next pattern we will see two patterns now so just by modifying a small logic we can take the next one so next one is i think yeah here i will do that the reverse pattern just now we have seen one pattern so the reverse of that pattern we will see now so how to print uh, this pattern so you can see the same logic the same logic so here it is 0 it is 1 it is 2 it is 3 it's a 4 now what we have to do for the 0 5 times it should be printed so rather than taking from 0 to 4 so here in such case we can take in a reverse order that means a decremented way so you can see let it be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So these are the row numbers. Row numbers. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. For this purpose, what we have to do? So take the range function. Inside the range function, decrement the values. So go with 5. Start with 5. So I will be 5 in the first iteration. And I... So... With a minus 1. Okay, with a minus 1. After first iteration, 5 will become 4. After second iteration, 4 will become 3. 3 will become 2. 2 will, will become 1. So it should stop at 1. So it should iterate from 5 to 0 with a minus 1. 5 to 0 with a minus 1. Right? And here, instead of taking all these things, here also same thing. So if i is equal to 5, j, j should repeat 5 times. So 5 times the star will be printed. Right? So 5 times we have to print the star. So J should iterate 5 times. So use the same thing. I. I. Comma. And here also 0. Comma. Minus 1. So if I is equal to 5. So you can see here the values will be 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. And here also. So if I is equal to 5. J will be 5. That means 5 times the star will be printed. So here it is. And whenever uh, i becomes 4, the, for i j in range of 4, 0, minus 1. That means 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So this is the logic. So 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. And here it will be 4, 3, 2, 1. Here it will be 3, 2, 1. Here it will be 2, 1. Here it will be 1. Right. So like this, we can simply use the negative uh, decrement decrement operator that means decrementing the value in the range function which will give the result in 
the pattern in this way simply there is no other modification we can do so instead of 5 here we can take it as a n n 0 and the same thing okay here also it will be going with uh, 5 4 3 2 and 1 so simply will the star will be printed and the same logic so if we are giving some end operator because all the stars should be printed in the same column right after after each and every column it should come with the next iteration right so this is a small and a very simple patterns and uh, further we'll go with the other patterns so meanwhile uh, I will execute the same logic, the three lines or four lines of code in the system and I will show you the patterns. So let's move on to the system. Hi friends. So just now we have seen uh, two patterns in Python programming. So we'll, we'll see the logic for that one. So I will execute this one. So take the n value, read the n value so that we can iterate the number of rows. So we can enter number of rows to be displayed so here uh, we can take the value of uh, n and we can iterate them so outer loop is for rows so for i in a range of uh, uh, let us take some n right and oh, inner loop is for columns for j in a range of i plus 1 right and print the star okay print the Start. I will show you uh, what is the use of end here. So I am just pre executing. So you can see if I give it 5, see there is no pattern. So all the stars have been printed in the next line because print will always print the star in, in the same way. If you go with the end operator, I mean the end parameter, so the uh, next output will be printed in the previous out, present output. So you can see if I execute this one again, all the stars have been printed in the same line. Now we have to differentiate from one row to another row. So after completion of each and every row, the next the star should be printed in the next row. So for that, uh, I am giving the empty print. So you can see if I go with the five, so we'll have whenever i becomes zero, one will be printed, right? So one star will be printed, and whenever i becomes one, two stars will be printed. So because the line number will be zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And see, if you go with the 10, automatically the pattern will be, I mean, the number of lines will be some 10 lines. So, like this, we can implement the pattern, right? This pattern. And once again, the reverse order, what about the reverse order? So, for that, uh, we have changed the logic with uh, negative uh, decrement. So, start with the uh, n and go with the end with the 0 and with a minus 1 decrement with a minus 1 for every iteration so here also you can go with the i comma 0 comma minus 1 and simply you can execute so that we'll get the pattern in a reverse order because if it is n the n times the star will be printed because i ranges with the n to 0 so i will be having from n when i becomes n j, j will be also having n so n times the star will be printed in the next next iteration n minus 1 n minus 1 times the star will be printed if you go with the 5 so first iteration 5 5 stars will be printed in the next iteration i i becomes 4 so 4 stars will be printed so how many i value what is the i value the same number of uh, uh, times the star should be printed here right for that purpose the same thing we have applied for inner loop and outer loop so that we will get the reverse pattern right so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding these patterns so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much